The climate change crisis intensifies and the young people are taking the lead in the advocacy by forming alliances. The world is home to 1.8 billion young people aged 10 to 24, the largest generation of youth in history with an uncertain future. The COP28 presidency urges improved global climate education so that future generations are equipped to unlock the opportunity of a just transition. A just transition involves maximizing the social and economic opportunities of climate action while minimizing and carefully managing any challenges, including true effective social dialogue amongst all groups impacted and respect for fundamental labor principles and rights. Kitandere, Acting Executive Secretary, African Youth Commission shares his reflections on Youth Day at COP28. I'm really, really um, excited that I, you know, Youth Day is a day that is focused on, um, on the COP28 and we want to see that it is not just a day for the youth but we want to see the COP becoming more youthful in the sense that um, many negotiators are being given the opportunity um, to have youth at the center of negotiation. A global study conducted by the UNDP in 2021, targeting 10,000 youth from 10 countries, found that over 50% of young people felt sad, anxious, angry, powerless, helpless and guilty about climate change, while 45% said their feelings negatively affected their daily lives. Abisane is the Gambia's youngest climate change negotiator. Representing the voices of youth, this is not something that is only... Um only for negotiation purposes also, but the inclusiveness of youth, our voices really plays a key important role. And this is the reason why I say um, as, a, as a woman and as a youth leader in the climate space, um, it is very important for, for every other person. And then I will urge each and every one of my fellow young Gambians to also take this bold step to, to fight for their right, to fight for their country. Finance is one of the major challenges affecting young people's ability to raise awareness and build their capacities. On Youth Day, the UAE announced a new 220 million US dollars funding package for Africa to help drive better health outcomes for youth. Here is Abdullah Singate from Clean Earth Gambia. So uh, we're calling on government, we're calling on donors and stakeholders to see that there are allocations in terms of these practical measures that will help young people and even the uh, people that are there to deliver these services to have enough resources. Because today, if you go to the Minister of Environment or you go to the National Disaster Management Agency, their first cry will be, we don't have enough resources. So where are the resources? We need to make sure that these resources are properly allocated so that proper actions can be taken. We are calling. If the resources are available, make sure they are placed at the right position. 38 countries agreed to sign the UNESCO Greening Education Partnership Declaration, committing to incorporate climate education into nationally determined contributions and national adaptation plans. Reporting for QTV News from UAE, Dubai, I am Jennifer Sonko.